Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the Springbok squad for the Castle Log incoming series, which will feature two tests against Ireland and a single first ever test against Portugal in Bloemfontein. Loftus and Durban for Ireland, Bloemfontein for Portugal. And we expect to see a number of players return to the squad and as well as potential announcement for who will be the Springbok captain moving forward. Will it continue to be Sia Khaleesi who will rejoin the squad uh, when it's announced tomorrow, is already part of or with the squad and traveling back with them. Um, as you could sort of see on the social media and stuff like that. Other players we expect to see coming back into the squad are the likes of a um, Kurt Lawrence, uh, Billy LaRue, for example, Trevor Nukani, potentially Kubas Reinach, as well as potentially Lacanio uh, Amwas. We might also see potential new call ups from the Bulls. All of this will be confirmed tomorrow. Right, what do we think here? Before we do, we talk about exactly what uh, the potential squad is going to look like. I'm going to be looking at the current squad as well as potential players we expect to return, as well as the current list of injured players that will not be available for Ireland. Before we do that, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, let's look at the, the current squad, shall we? Right, those are the current forwards, 19 um, at the moment in uh, the Swim Up squad, and we expect this to, uh, as a number, so it'll probably remain the same, but as a result of players coming in, I think we will see certain players dropping out. Players who I think are in danger of dropping out, uh, I think Pepsi Boot Lazy, uh, considering the fact that um, it's likely that we can potentially get two loose forwards back into the squad. Um, I think Netling Bashir could be in a bit of trouble, given the fact that we've already got two tight heads in the squad. We will be adding potentially Chairman Yukane. What's going to happen with Thomas Toy as well, for example? Um, similarly, I think Intertuka at the moment might stay in there because of that injury to Steven Kitsov. Um, I also think that we're going to see one of the hookers drop out, potentially either between Joseph Dweber and Andre Hugo Fenter. My gut says Joseph Dweber will potentially drop out. Uh, Yasmin Beast is not available for Ireland, so Evan Ruiz will remain there, I'm sure. Um, Salman Murat will, I'm sure, will remain there as well. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens with Pilo Gamedia, but I feel he might potentially drop out. Um, they might sort of opt to keep one of Pepsi Boot Lazy or in Pilo Gamedi. Uh, in that squad, so those are the players who I think are potentially at risk of dropping out. They are the fringe players, you know, you're not going to see a Peter Steph to Toy drop out, for example. I think Ben Jason Dixon, I think they really do rate him. I think that he's, I mean, he is obviously ahead of the pecking order of a Pepsi Bull to Lazy, as well as a Peter Gamedi, given the fact that he played uh, over the weekend. So, uh, yeah, those are the players who I think are potentially in, in line to potentially drop out. Uh, in terms of the background players, these are the ones we currently have. Um, obviously, we did not see the likes of Ethan Hooker. We did not see um, Sia Masuku. We did not see Mario Levi by expected to be involved. did not see Mornay Vandenberg. Uh, so those are kind of the players which you think well, could be on the sort of the chopping block. I do think we will see at least one of the flower halves drop out, if not maybe two. Um, I don't think we're going to sit there in a squad with um, Andre Pollard, Mornay Levi, Sia Masuku, Jordan Hendricks, uh, um, as well as potentially a Sash Fame Gomezulu, although he is a utility player. So I do think we might see one player drop out, whether it's going to be Jordan Hendricks or Sia Masuku. I think those are probably the two most likely. I think uh, Sasha will remain as a as a utility back, especially given the fact um, that we currently have, don't have any, uh, a bit of a shortage at, at fullback with Damian Willems. Uh, in terms of scrum offs, there is an injury to, to uh, Jaden Hendricks, sir, so it wouldn't be adverse to having four scrum offs in the squad, even if Corbus Ryan does get recalled. Uh, if he doesn't, I expect Mornay Fundenberg to potentially drop out. Um, unless the spring marks do genuinely just go with like a 42-43 man squad, which we have seen before, especially given the fact that there is this Portugal test, so it wouldn't surprise me if we kind of go like a 42-man squad for this incoming series, and then um, we then drop that squad down to sort of more so 33-34 for the rugby champion, especially when we sort of travel uh, to Australia, travel to Argentina, but um, we might yet have a bigger squad on the ground when we are based here. Obviously, it's not too expensive, for example. Uh, with so travel cost and uh, from, a, from a training point of view, it is nice when you can almost have basically two full 15s um, and some when it comes to sort of uh, those those sort of training sessions. One of the main reasons apparently that they want to take uh, all the scrum offs, for example, into the World Cup is it makes a big difference when it comes to training sessions. Um, so the big question is, um, who joins the squad? And uh, these are some of the players who I think are currently on the roster. So in terms of injured players, uh, Jaden Hendricks took confirmed injured. Stephen Kitsop is injured. Caden Moody, Lourdes Diaga, Damien Vinson, Jean Klein, all currently injured and will not face Ireland um, at this stage. Uh, we do, in terms of players who are part of the World Cup squad, uh, the likes of the Kanye Am, Kirk Lawrence, Marco Vinstad, Bilirou, Sia Khaleesi, Trevor Nukane, Kubo Srenak, and Arches Neyman, who is already linked up with the squad 
over in England. Now, that's eight players already. So when you think of the fact that, you know, we're currently sitting with um, a 36-man squad, 37 if you include Arcus Neymar, um, you know, we then add eight players. You're now sitting with a 42-man squad. No, 44-man squad, rather. And uh, that's before you even look at potential other call-ups. And I think 44 becomes a very large squad. We might go with it, um, but it would be a bit odd, wouldn't it? Um, so I do think, I, I think out of those players, I, I expect most of them to, to return. Um, you know, maybe the question marks could be around a Marco Van Staden, um, whether, you know, he makes a return. He's coming back from injury, maybe hasn't been at his best, but I, again, they've always kind of backed him whenever he has been fit to go to the World Cup. Uh, Kubas Reinach, Acheva, and Yukani are two players who might not necessarily make the next World Cup. Could be a bit of question marks. Villaruf makes it definitely will uh, return. The Kanye Am could be a bit of an interesting one. Um, from a form point of view, I don't think he's been at his best this season, but I think he's been a lot better than he was a year ago. Certainly looks to be getting back uh, to, to his best. Uh, so will he maybe replace Ethan Hooker? Will he be included as well as, for example, Ethan Hooker? You know, in terms of our centers, we've got um, Andre Estes and Jesse Creel, Ethan Hooker in the current squad. is sort of Arsenal centers. You then got Sasha Fami Gomez, who can play there. Jordan Henderson, I suppose, can also, in theory, play at 12. Um, so we'll be looking to add Lacanya Am, for example. Um, we have to wait and see. And then possible callers, people who have been spoken about. I have not included Cameron Harnacorn because he is injured, has got a hamstring injury, and uh, at this stage will not be available for the box. Whether he might come into the squad when fit and maybe for the rugby championship remains to be seen. I think that that fight for number three, one, number eight is going to get very interesting. But uh, it sounds like he is not available and therefore unlikely to be named in the squad. Thomas Atoye has been one of the top players in the Premiership. An absolute revelation signing uh, for Bath. And uh, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't get a call up. Can play a loose head, tight head. I personally think that they'll, they'll call him up. As well as Trevor Nikane. Might even let go of Nathan Bashir and uh, Ntuka Ntunu. Because going into Ireland, you could start with Oxen Chair, France Mohoba. And then you could have Vincent Koch with one of Trevor Nikane or Thomas Atoye. Both players you're capable of playing at one and at three, um, and can play and, and can sort of deputize at loose head. I'd be surprised if we don't see one of them, as opposed to, for example, an Instituto. Uh, the big question is Tyron Green with a question mark. Uh, has he done enough? We do have, uh, although it is good to see that um, Chesa Colley, for example, is hopefully going to be able to recover, as is Kurt Lawrence, and uh, Freddie Rue potentially going to be fit as well. Um, maybe not the sort of the, the fullback crisis, we initially thought. Uh, it'd be interesting, for example, to see if Kieran Horn gets retained by the squad, or whether he potentially gets released. Um, I'll be surprised if I see Tyron Green on this list. It just doesn't seem to be any sort of rumours about him joining up. doesn't seem to be really on the radar. But we'll wait and see. And then a player who's uh, been on the on the, on, on the the potential sort of call-up list a lot of people talking about is David Creel. He's had a really solid season this, this, this season. Can play 12, 13, 15. So that utility sort of back to a can kick for goal as well. Um, it could make him very attractive to the box. Whether the box see it and whether they want to go there, um, we'll wait and see. Be very interested to see if he would have been there ahead of, for example, an Ethan Hooker had the Bulls been available for this Wales test. Um, so he could potentially be an outside call. Uh, who else do you think might get a, a, a call up here? You know, are we going to see a Marvin Ori, for example, potentially come back? I don't think we'll see it necessarily, um, but we might. You know, he has been around. There is a bit of a shortage at lock. Um, a very good line-out jumper is Marvin Ori. So I haven't put him in the here, but he potentially could be uh, someone who could uh, make a return. He was part of that World Cup squad. Um, but uh, yeah, so what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.